Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would just make it short and sweet and show y'all my curriculum picks for the upcoming 2022-2023 school year for my oldest son. He will be uh, technically a first grader by public school standards, but um, you'll see that I have um, varying grade levels for his uh, individual work. So I'm just gonna go in and show you exactly what we have here. Um, we are an Ambleside Online and Classical Conversations family, so um, a lot of these books that you'll see here are recommendations from Ambleside Online. I can link that down below for you if you're interested in any of these books. The curriculum comes um, straight from their website for uh, year two. And um, what we do for Classical Conversations, you won't see anything uh, in this um, haul just because I don't actually have anything specific to show you for Classical Conversations. So I'll just start over here with his uh, individual work, which we do um, simply good and beautiful math. He's in level one, so he will be working through that this year. He is also doing um, good and beautiful for language arts, but he's in level K, so he's um, finishing up that this year. So that's why we have the course book here, and then this is his reader. And then the other individual work he has is, I have a, uh, a pencil here as a place marker um, just to show you that we don't actually follow a curriculum for his handwriting. He just does um, copy work, some verses and quotes and things that I write out for him to copy down. So that's why um, you won't see any book for handwriting here, but a pencil. <laughs> and then um, for right here, these are our Ambleside Online history books. We've got Christian history and then our um, regular history here. So we are working our way through Our Island Story by H.E. Marshall. We have A Child's History of the World by V. M. Hillier, and then we have Trial and Triumph by Richard Hanula, and these books are just amazing. I purchased um, hard copies of them because I was reading them on my Kindle. I, I, I uh, shared that in my last video, how much I love the Kindle, <laughs> but these books were just so good that I had to purchase hard copies of them. So those are for History from Ambleside Online Year 2. And then moving over this way, we have um, Little Pilgrim's Progress by Helen L. Taylor. In Ambleside Online Year 2, it's actually um, the, in the original Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. But I wanted a gentler start to um, Pilgrim's Progress. And so I chose to get the Little Pilgrim's Progress. And um, I did mention in my um, school cart video that my son loves this book. So I'm glad I started with this because then we can move up to the original Pilgrim's Progress and he'll be familiar with the story and I think it'll be a great transi transition to that level of um, story. And moving over here we have um, Understood Betsy by Dorothy Canfield Fisher, another Ambleside Online book for our literature. We are studying Vincent Van Gogh this year, so well this term actually. We have another um, artist study uh, for the second and third terms, but I thought I'd just share the first term um, what we're covering. So Vincent van Gogh. And then for the first uh, first term, we're also doing um, reptiles nature study. So these are the books that I've pulled for um, what we are studying with reptiles. This one's a fun see-through uh, reptiles book. And then um, ask me about reptiles and birds, focusing on the reptiles. And then of course, our nature anatomy book by Julia Rotham. Uh, Rothman. And so then moving on here, we are studying Shakespeare. We are going to be studying his individual plays, but um, I first wanted to start out gently with um, who William Shakespeare is. So we're focusing on who was William Shakespeare. And then over here we have our geography book. This is Tree in the Trail by Holling, Clancy Holling, another uh, Ambleside Online Year 2 book. We'll be reading this one and then Seabird, which I don't actually have yet, but it's another Holling, Clancy Holling book. And um, we read Paddle to the Sea last year and loved it. And I'm excited to get started on this one for this year. We love reading uh, geography books through story like this. We learned so much through Paddle to the Sea, so I'm excited for this one. And then again, like I said, um, Seabird is the one after that that I haven't actually gotten yet. But that is everything for our 2022-2023 uh, curriculum picks for my oldest son. He's six, going to be seven in October, and he's in Ambleside Online year two and uh, first grade by public school standards. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on that little bell icon so that you can be notified of my latest videos and I will see you in the next one.